today we are going to talk about search operator in KQL and this is a very versatile operator which can be used to do a wildcard search to search on a specific data set to search on a specific column and there are various different ways to utilize it now to understand that first of all we would start writing the search command and it comes in intelligence and once we type it in what we're gonna do is let's type in something very very common so you'd say office activity and we run the query and once we run the query what happens is anywhere it finds office activity not only a table anywhere it finds it right it basically going to show us the result from all those places so that may contain sentinel health a query logs and any other stuff so just for an example if i expand a query logs you should be able to see office activity is available as a data set within a column right so that's where also it is able to pick up right now to understand a bit more what we would do is we would just extend the search with something else so we're going to search for admin and we're going to say and and within a bracket we would write office or we would say azure right and once we hit the search on this condition what happens is this is going to search a combination of admin and office or admin and azure so we will see if the result set we should be able to figure out any of the conditions and you can see all the tables come from everywhere wherever this combination is possible all right now this is all about randomly searching a keyword now what if if we want to search in a particular data set or a particular table so in that case where what we would do is we would say in and we would do it in a bracket let's say we say sign in logs and we say office activity and we will define the search word here so this is going to search in these two tables and find out the admin you know tagged rows or results so we will wait for the result to come in and you can see in the result it is basically showing us the data from only those two tables all right now just to extend this a bit further right we can also use kind of a operator called case sensitive so what you would write in that case kind case sensitive and admin with a capital and uh, you know we will try to find either in sign in log or in office activity now if we hit run over here because we have specified admin with a capital all right so we will see it is basically picking up a lake query log as well as office activity all right now let us just change this caps to small a and rerun the query once we do so right you should be able to see there is a change in the result set and once the result appear here right we should be able to see that wherever it has admin with a as a smaller case all right that's gonna appear that means it's a combination of admin with small a and sign in logs and admin with you know a small a with office activity so we will just give it a moment for the result to appear all right so basically once the result comes in we should be able to see much around the details over here as you can see a lake query logs and if we try to sort the table right and then just look at the next setup result we can see sign in logs as well just because we switched the case all right now let's say we did a search on a table right but we do not know what kind of 
details are available but we know certain portion of it so what we could also do is we can specify uh, initial of the table name and then end it with a wildcard you know and uh, run the query and once we do so that basically going to search across tables which starts with sign in and office activity and in our case because we have only you know one table with sign ins you can see there are two kinds of table available here now just to extend a bit further right this is like a normal data set now let's say we are writing a query to union something wherein we union all the data sets from sign ins and uh, heartbeat right and we can apply a search on that so we can search with multiple conditions on a result set through a union right so once we run this query right we should be able to see the result set coming from the places where we have unioned the data sources all right now what you would see we could see only sign in logs and the reason behind that is heartbeat table do not have any of the terms like azure or all other specified terms so that was all about having search randomly or having search on a data set right now we talked about searching a column name also so what we did here is in the next query we specified a column name called user principal name and user name so in any data set or any table wherever these two tables these two columns are available and they have a value of admin those gonna show up here so if i run the query and wait for the results to come in right we should be able to see that you know from behavior analytics it is coming here and then from sign in logs it is coming for the user principal name right so just to expand behavior analytics so you should we should see username as admin right and that was about search options and you can also try the combination whatever we have learned today to make your search faster and better and just to remember search is very very expensive query so we need to be really careful to run a search query right so